Anion, one of your best lockout kits you can buy. A lot of times we lock our keys in the vehicles, our friends do, your wife, your kids. And if you don't have an extra key, or if you lost it and the key's locked in the vehicle for whatever reason, you will need one of these lockout kits. Now normally you'll go and pay a locksmith $50, $100, and then you wait a half an hour. If you buy one of these lockout kits, and I'll have a link in the description box where you can get the complete kit, it's pretty amazing. Everything comes separately wrapped, which is really nice how it comes packaged. It has its own case. These particular items here, they blow up, which expands the door. You have two of these, which really comes in handy if you have a very stubborn door. Now, the red item here, this is probably something you're going to use the most. I mean, you turn it around the opposite way. And you place it in your door and then that allows you to slide your airbags in to expand the door you'll be using that item a lot and it even comes with all individually wrapped even more items to expand the door or move things around for you to get the uh, door open now it comes with a wet wrench kit that you're seeing there and that's for tightening or loosening your rods now you get 40s it's extremely long it doesn't matter which vehicle you're trying to get into. Most of the time, I only use three rods. But if you're actually using all four, you'll have some nice reach to it to get to where that lock is. And now, and like I said, the case itself is just worth its weight in gold. The wrenches are included because if you do tighten up that lengthy bar too much, then you can put a wrench on it, give it a twist, and it'll pop off so you're not sitting there wrestling with it. So I would leave those in the actual baggie so you don't actually get yourself in trouble with that. But here's a complete kit from Nissan. And like I said, I'll have the links in the bottom where you can go get it off their, um, their website. But I'm going to take you into where I break into my vehicle, into my pickup truck. And we'll see how I actually used it so you can actually see how I'm actually doing it. So let's head on outside and let's break into my pickup truck. Okay, let's see about breaking into the truck that's locked down. And I'm going to go, I guess, three extensions. I don't think I need four. And uh, let's see if we can get in there. Now I do have two cameras shooting from each side. One on the outside, one on the inside, so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Now ideally, when you're going to go into your vehicle, you don't want it, you don't want to spread your door super wide. If you do, You'll end up breaking your door. Now, I use one of these, and what I'm trying to do is I'm going in just a little ways. And you see how that spread that door there? We want to spread that just a little bit. Now, you could flip it over, and you might find that a bit easier, but you're just trying to get it to lift a little bit. That's all you're trying to do. Now, this kit comes with two of these, so that's kind of nice, but we only need one. I want to get that in there at least halfway, and you'll see how it's sticking out there. So now I'm going to pump that up, and that's going to give me my space, which now I can take that out. So I got lots of room here in the corner to get into my vehicle. So the nets. As you can see, I only went uh, three instead of all four. This is my handle. This is my claw. My claw is going to go in here. Okay. Is this going to get it now? Okay, got it. Oh. 
There it is. Whew. That took a little bit of finagling. It was hard to see the button because the sun is putting a glare in there. So I was having a hard time seeing it. But um, there's a quick video on how this system works. Now make sure you hold this. You could take the air out, you know, hold this up here when you open your door because it is going to pop. And then you have everything you don't want it dropping. So, and the whole idea of this is you'll see when I shut my door, I got no bending up here at all. And if you push that out too far, then you're going to have a whole bunch of bending on your vehicle. So take your time when you're doing it. Don't be in a hurry. But if you ever lock your keys in or your friend does, having this lockout kit has all the toys. Catch you guys on the next one.